This presentation will help you use mineral characteristics along with a few simple tests to identify specific minerals. Mineral color is the easiest characteristic to observe, but it can also be the most deceiving since there are many minerals that come in a wide variety of colors due to impurities in the mineral samples themselves. Luster refers to how light is reflected from the surface of a mineral. The two main types of luster are metallic and non-metallic. Minerals that exhibit a metallic luster look like a metal, such as a shiny metal, a dull metal, or possibly a rusty metal. Non-metallic minerals appear translucent or transparent, glassy, milky, or just like an everyday rock. The hardness of a mineral is its ability to resist scratching. Frederick Mohs, a German mineralogist, developed a hardness scale over 100 years ago. The hardest mineral known, diamond, was assigned the number 10. The Mohs hardness scale ranks the order of hardness of minerals in some other common objects. We can use our knowledge of the Mohs hardness scale to test mineral hardness. Knowing that our fingernail is about two to two and a half on the hardness scale, we can scratch minerals and if we're successful, we know that mineral is in the soft category. If we can't scratch it with our fingernail, then we move on to another test, in this case, glass. If a mineral cannot scratch glass, then it, it must be in the medium category. However, if it is hard enough to scratch glass, like this piece of quartz, then we know it must be in the hard category of minerals. Another mineral characteristic focuses on how the mineral breaks. Mineral cleavage focuses on a mineral that breaks in a very specific and consistent way. Maybe in perfect cubes, at specific angles, or sometimes in sheets. Fracture, on the other hand, refers to a mineral that breaks in a random or inconsistent way. We use pieces of unglazed porcelain, also known as streak plates, to test mineral streak. Streak plates come in white and black color, depending on what the anticipated streak color is of the mineral sample that you are testing. Streak plates have a hardness similar to that of glass, so minerals that are seven on the Mohs hardness scale or greater won't leave much, if any, streak behind. Another important mineral property is density. Density is, simply put, how heavy or light a mineral sample feels. It depends on what kind of atoms make up that mineral and how tightly packed together those atoms are. Usually, just holding a mineral sample in your hand, you can feel if it feels heavy for its size or light for its size. Some minerals have unique properties. For example, magnetism, reactivity with acids, and some minerals even have distinct smells or odors. Using a few simple tools along with your observations can be very helpful in identifying minerals.